So I've got a timeline in Premiere and I basically need to add some time code to this. Um, this is generally useful in production so we can mark the length of a clip or of the whole sequence and isolate to the frame or to the second um, issues that may occur for critique and feedback. So right here I've got my bin. I'm going to um, try to zoom in on this area actually and uh, go to time code. Uh, the project is called time code. So um, I'm going to click on a new item right here. I'm going to go to transparent video. In this case I'll leave it uh, at the default sequence settings. And so this transparent video I can left click and drag out to the timeline. Uh, I won't include my titles for this but you may or may not need to include that for your titles. Um, so I'm just going to extend the timeline of that clip transparent video to the whole sequence. Uh, next up we need to double click the video which will then launch um, a preview window for it and I'll go to effects control and then I'll go into the effects tab here um, near the bin and I'll left click and drag out I'll do this three times I'll do one initially for regular SMPTE which basically shows you um, the breakdown in um, in hours, minutes, seconds, and then frames. I'm going to nudge this over as well in position terms. So I'm going to nudge this over to the left. And right now this is set to the media. Um, for some reason this is showing as being an hour long, so I need to switch this from media to clip. So that's right here, media to clip. And this should now show up correctly. So once the actual sequence begins, we'll see that uh, start correctly. So I'll have to repeat the process a second time. I'm going to just minimize the effects control just by clicking the little side arrow. And then I'm going to left click and drag time code out again. I'll leave it centered. And I'll switch this from SMPTE to frames. And again, you'll see here the frame counter is not showing correctly. So I'm going to switch this from media to clip. Uh, lastly, I'll do something similar. I'm going to drag out a third time code and this time again adjust it off to the right. So move that over here to the far right. I'll switch this one again to frames. Um, and I want to change this so that we can sort of see it register with the clip, each clip's length. So I'm going to switch this to the source track video one. Um, you may have multiple tracks uh, of edits, which is fine, so you may have to have a couple of these depending, uh, or you may have to do it on a per clip basis, but I'm going to try to just do video track one. I've got just a straight edit of clips sort of side by side by side. And then we can tell it to automatically label the media. So once you switch this to video track one and from none to automatic, it will start to label the, the clip as just media so you can sort of tell that this is the frame counter for each media clip so as you notice if we go to the first clip it's showing the individual frame counter for that clip then when the next clip loads in you'll see it reset to zero so again what's great for this is in review in dailies weeklies or any kind of review we can quickly isolate and say at this clip or at this frame or at this second frame um, we can identify any issues and hopefully correct those